Hello, everybody, once again. To the Moon, your host, Hades Manticore, Video Games Ho. Gonna find out what Neil screwed up. And I found out if you check the menu, he's got yellow health now. Which means. Oops! Don't exit the game, Max. That would be ridiculous. You can smell that squirrel Neil ran over all the way over here now. Why aren't there any lights on? I guess because it's dawn. Or dusk, that would make sense. What's going on? How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. We're looking for your colleague. I think he's in the kitchen. God damn you. Neil is making a sandwich. While the man is dying without having gone to the moon. Where is the kitchen? This is the kitchen over here, right? I don't know the layout of this house. This is the bathroom. Almost the exact opposite of the kitchen. Maybe this is it then. Uh, but me, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday. <laughs> You're not going to school anyway. Let him sleep. Because I was planning on waking him up. Hey, assholes, I need your help. We can't get him to the moon. Can you kids help at all? Why is the... If this is... Why is... If this is the kitchen... Why is the kitchen all the way over here? Wouldn't it make sense to be connected to the dining room? I understand that part, but... Okay. Did you confirm it in his records? Why, again, was the information... Was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter? Where'd you get that coffee? Shh. There's a Starbucks, like, right over there. Are you speaking with headquarter? Zzz. Yes, I'll fill you in after. Shh. He's a class 3 Templar. Thought of this at Johnny's bed. Where'd you find that? I thought you shh'd me. Temporarily unshushed. Ain't I lucky. I found the rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There are a bunch more of them there, and in the basement, too. Ah, hmm. Alright, resume shing. Okay. Now what to touch randomly, I wonder. Steal his coffee. Right, that part we can do. Hmm. The last pair of rabbit river gave to John. I didn't even click on that, but alright. Oh, wait, this one over here. Ah, the, the light, of course. Wait. What the hell? That is a massive, really weird area to have the... Turn the light on. Jesus. Ah, look, poop bag. This is where he stored the bodies. He just threw them in there. I guess I'm just... I guess I had nothing left to do in this room. I have to put the arms in a certain way and it'll unlock the secret room where he stashed the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Haha, <laughs> time to run up his electrical bill. <laughs> Jerks. Can I talk to this person? No. Or maybe I can. I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance, I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask, Lily? You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. Two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really, and there's a school bus that passes through here. How'd you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He ran into my knife. He was in the army, they were the last batch we deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked, our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me a job. I accepted it with gratitude. The place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows, help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place, too, and so we stayed. 
As for Johnny, he was glad as well. Hmm. We're going to miss him. I think deep down he really wanted a family. Tommy and Sarah. So you're going to tell him about John? I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. It's no use! Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out when his corpse is being put into the ground. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. The future. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit her once in a while. I got nothing else to say to you. Oh, hey. You gave my kids the candy cane, didn't you, you bitch? Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... Oh, you, good. You, you didn't tell us this. Oh, he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. Okay, it's not that important. So, thank you. I thought that had been something helpful. Turn over the piano. Piano. For River. Uh, music notes. What kind of a song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over again. The Axis of Awesome wrote it or something. Ow. Bang my knee on my counter. Anything in the bathroom I can do? Why is the bathtub full, I wonder? Turn on and store tap water? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, sure. Why? I don't know why. Might as well, you know? We might need it if the zombies come. We gotta fill up the tub and the, and the sink and every sink in the house. wonder if I can talk to this guy yet. You done with HQ yet? Okay, he's done. Hmm. What is it? Seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended merely just that to begin with, and in such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. It was something to do with his childhood. You think that's what kept us out of his early memories? It's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. What now? Just given the reconfiguration frequencies, that should get us past the blockers. Once we're in his childhood, my be really enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to accurate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging and accessible memory. We'll need to give the job for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only had gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we found a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. God damn. It's all going awry. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Okay, bye, Neil. I guess Neil didn't screw it up. Something in the past screwed it up for us. Ahem. Forgot my coffee. What? My... I'm not going to drink where your dirty lips have been, Neil. Receive no beta blocker. So we need... Hmm. It smells! Good barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva, it smells. I know, it's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. This asshole ran over a rat. I mean, a squirrel. Crap. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. Quick, get the roadkill. What are we, what are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? We're gonna go scrape a corpse off the ground? He means the smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge... To oh my god, we're gonna go scrape a corpse off the ground. And the best part, even though Johnny's unconscious, he's still susceptible. <laughs> I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, Lily, go script the corpse up. We'll be waiting for you. This is awesome. You just need to go fetch a piece of roadkill. Yeah, I'll just... Why should I fetch it? 
You're the one who ran over it. Exactly, I've already done my part. You miserable bastard. Give me a spatula. If it helps any, I... I have a deodorant that smells like roadkill. I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. Oh, okay. I was hoping she would just give him a spatula. Like, here you go, losers. Not really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. My favorite part of games. Corpse scraping. Man, can't just be like Fallout. I can just leave the corpses on the ground wherever the hell I want. Pillage their ammo and move on with my life. Do 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 da 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 Huh, deja vu. This is where they initiate battle onto you and you have to RPG fight him. Giga fist. I don't know any like really well named RPG moves. I mean, that's my fault. I mean, I'm just really dumb. Well, grab the corpse and we're bringing this back in. What kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe just to bring in a, in a piece of German infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car, at least to make the odor controllable. I thought it unlocked the whole night. It was crashed, and it mattered. Dot dot dot. Where are you going? I I want to see the corpse. I gotta go take a leak. What the hell? There's a bathroom like right over there. That doesn't work. I'm gonna go take a leak. I can only piss on trees. What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Here it is. Received valve container. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. He's afraid we're gonna find his secret stash of candy. Uh. He contained roadkill odor. I don't want anything more to do with this. Don't you have to pick it up? I mean. What did you just suck the smell in? Just. Okay. We have a smell in a bottle now. Now we just gotta rub it the right way and it'll come out. Damn, I forgot I can't drag. Touch the tree. Does nothing. Oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great! Great, great, great. Go set it up while you're right back. Where are you going? I... I gotta... I gotta go feed my Tamagotchi! What? Yeah, dude, I've been feeling retro. Hurry and go set things up. We'll be there in no time. What are you? We got someone dying back there. You're here feeding your Tamagotchi. What the potato is he up to, indeed? I got a time to check on him now. Can never tell when I get back in control. I mean, it's just I'm not paying attention because I'm dumb. Who cares? 1339... When we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? <laughs> Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. What if we? What if he dies while we're in there? This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. What if he dies while we're in there? Luck's the last thing we need. We got guns! Maybe we have a point where we have to flee like, oh shit. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Hmm. I wonder if there's like... A point where we have to like run away from encroaching darkness because he's dying and we can't get out or some shit. Let's go. Oh, thanks. Thanks, game.
good. They make me solve a puzzle. Good, good, good. I think this little thing is causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it in outer space. I suppose all we can do now is send the signal and hope. Well, ready? Mulatto butts! That was the signal. Oh, snap. Something's happening. Quick, send it again. Oh, shit, it's Godzilla! <laughs> oh. Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me. This condition's been destabilized, and take levels must be reconfigured. Oh, this is what I was kind of afraid of. What if, what if he dies while we're in here? What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. We gotta get out of here. Get out of his memory now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You gotta be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. Both of us get out into this state. All of our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before, Johnny. Friggin' don't pull that contrived shit on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with house stare. You know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Type faster. Okay. We're good. Everything's fine. Doctor, give me the news. Well, I have a bad case of loving you. I think we're okay for now. Keep it up for now. Oh, God. Any red-tinged memory is not a good thing. Okay. Stabilize. The color. Fuck, 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 fuck. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. Wait a minute. My carrot cake doesn't suck. Last Christmas party, you you were a sloppy kisser. Oh. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to. You know, call you a moron, right? Yeah, I know that I did, right? Oh, boy. I kind of want to don't end the part. I don't want to end yet. I'm going to keep going. But how... Can we walk over this? No, we can't walk over this. That'd just be ridiculous. We need to... Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't, though. Well, this bridge ain't doing us any favors, that's for sure. Maybe I should have kicked the soccer ball. Maybe that would have magically created a bridge to somewhere. I'm gonna create a bridge too far. Here goes nothing. Oh, I was supposed to just do that. Whoops, I'm dumb. <laughs> it just puts us right over the black. Oh, no! <laughs> we fall to our deaths. Oh. Here we are. Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seemed peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? What? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I suppose not. The jizz rags, ma'am. My god. Never mind. Just hope I'm wrong. Well, I guess we'll find out if she's wrong in the next part. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> like and subscribe if you're enjoying the good times. I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.